there seems to be this feeling, and I think it's born of hope, which it should be, is that we're going to have, you keep hearing this, it's going to be another roaring 20s. I wonder, though, do you think people are really going to be, I think people might be a little more shell-shocked than you think, or are people going to come back out in force once somebody waves that flag and says, okay, we're good to go? Do you think they're ba everybody's back out, or do you think it's going to be a touch-and-go thing? Well, you know, I, was, uh, I did six, eight billion media impressions from my home this year, eight billion. I've been on every news channel. I sit on a board of one of the largest hospitals in America. So I've been forecasting straight out. Here's what I forecasted a year ago. I forecasted that on April 1st, things would start to change significantly. They have. I said that three things were going to happen. People were going to come back in three stages. First was the immediate phase. Those are the young people that are fearless. They're going to come out right away, COVID or not. Second third is what I call the reserve third. They're going to watch. If things look safe, and the numbers are going in the right direction, they will start to come out. The third third is the certain third. They're not going anywhere until they're vaccinated and they know things are right. The problem is the third third has all the disposable income, Dan. So there is a demographic process that we're gonna go through the next two months as this happens. Let me leave you with this premise. Okay. We're gonna lose give or take 38% of all the restaurant seats in America as a result of this. In independent bars, we're going to lose upwards of about 42, 44% of all the seats, all the capacity. Let's assume the marketplace only comes back to 80% of what it was, but we have 38% less capacity. Boom town. Look at yeah. the bar business. Only 70% of people come back, but we have 40% less capacity. Boom town. No matter how you slice it, this is the summer of opportunity. Now, People have changed their traffic patterns. They're looking more to go. To go is not gonna disappear. Curbside is not gonna disappear. The consumer likes it. So don't think we're getting away from those things. We still have to market to curbside and to delivery in a restaurant business. The bar business still has to market to experience over price. But make no mistake, brand loyalty is gone after a year. People are looking for new things. There's an opportunity to become a household brand this year, unlike ever before, and legacy brands could disappear this year. My point is this, we're not reopening, we're launching. Okay. You need to think of this as a grand opening. You need to open your business with the vigor and messaging and dominance of a grand opening, visually and exciting while, to reacquaint people to look at your business. Because right now, loyalties are gone. It's a whole open game as to where people land in these next few months. But Dan, I feel very strongly about this. We are looking at Boomtown. I'm in Las Vegas. Yes. This weekend, I took a, a drive on the Strip. We're full. 